So the video you guys just saw was the first flights uh, since the refurbishment of one of my favorite planes, uh, my one approximately 18th scale uh, Daedalus 88. Um, so Daedalus was a human powered aircraft built by a bunch of MIT students in the late 1980s that uh, broke all of the human, human powered aircraft endurance and distance records. And the plane holds a special place uh, in my heart because uh, a lot of my aerospace mentors uh, worked on the project. Um, so about five years ago, I built a miniature version of this, about as small as I could go um, within the reasons of kind of uh, building materials available and, uh, you know, reasonable wing cords. Um, and the aircraft is 72 inches in span, that's about two meters, and uh, weighs uh, just a little bit under an ounce at 25 grams. Um, so the aircraft um, actually has a little tiny Mark Drilla inside of it um, as the pedal power, um, and then it uses a brick from one of the Park Zone Vapor aircraft and then the you know standard motor that comes with that. So I went and uh, set up the aircraft just the same way as the full scale one, um, and so it has these little V mounts for the control surfaces, and the control surfaces are full flying. So you have full flying rudder, and you have full flying elevator as well. And there's quite a bit of mixing going on in between the rudder and the elevator to keep the aircraft uh, reasonably flat in turns. It has a tendency to, to pitch up uh, if you try to turn too tightly. Um, obviously, uh, a one ounce, you know, six foot spanned aircraft is quite difficult to transport. Um, so the wings are removable, so each one of the wings has two little carbon rods that engage into little slots in the top of the fuselage here. Let me see if I can get that in. So they go in like that, and then there's a lift wire on the bottom of the aircraft that connects into a little hook here. Um, and so that way, under the flight loads, and we'll replicate that by holding the wing kind of upside down, um, you get a pretty prototypical sort of bend. So there's a, a spar here made out of a one millimeter carbon rod, and then that transitions down to a half millimeter carbon rod, so I get the sort of prototypical amount of bend here. Um, so the aircraft flies uh, much faster than scale speed, but still very slow for an aircraft of this size. Um, and it's a really, really, you know, kind of fun plane to watch fly around. It can tolerate basically no wind, however. Um, after, you know, many years in storage and a trip across the country, the covering was starting to peel. And so I, I stripped back all the covering, repainted all the pink bits to look like the, the you know, Owens Corning insulation foam. And uh, it's, it's flying just as well as it did. Um, when I first built it. So it's a quick look at one of my favorite planes and I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks.